All right. Hey, Beard Battalion. Um, so I know I wasn't here on... Uh, let's go move that over a little bit. I know I wasn't here on Monday. Had some mental breakdown stuff going on, but that's okay. Um, today we're back. We're going to be animating a walk cycle. This will be my first official walk cycle, so it should be pretty fun. Um, I've done a little bit of work outside of the stream, so there are some things that... Um, are different. For example, now if I rotate the arm here, uh, it moves the hammer with it, which will actually be pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is first is I'm just going to position the hammer where I think the hammer should go. Um, so actually, let's go ahead and rotate this along the x axis to probably right about there, and then rotate that on the y axis so that now it sits here and I can actually go ahead and we'll just look mostly at this for right now and uh, take that a little bit forward rotate that a little on the Y and the Z just kind of pull it closer together maybe maybe not too close together something like that hey Nathaniel welcome to the stream man how are you doing and uh, we'll rotate this on the Y just to get it down a little bit. And then I think we'll have to move this in on the Z. Just trying to do a nice relaxing stream. Janwa, welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? The last time you were here, I think we were playing Breath of the Wild. I think. I think that's the last time I remember seeing your username. It has been a while. How have you been? All right, we're going to just rotate this hand up here. And uh, actually, I guess I need to rotate it around the y-axis. There we go. And then I can actually try to position this uh, hammer a little bit better. So we'll just spin this on the y to fit better. There we go. That should be fine. And then I need to make the hand actually grab onto the hammer. Breath of the Wild. That is that has been a while, my friend. What have you been up to since then? How's life been treating you? It's been a pretty calm and chill day today. Just trying to get this animation done. You know what? Let's uh, let's go based on that. That way I can actually see what I'm working on better. Rotate this on the Y a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Life has been good. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. I know sometimes life gets really hard. Uh, kind of unfairly. <laughs> so I'm glad life has been going good for you. There we go. All right, it's not going to be perfect. Remember, this is just a tower defense game. Oh, let's move this on the... Oh, and it's going to move the arm with it. So that's fine. Let's undo any of that animation there. There we go. Now it's really wrapped around there. Kind of do the same thing here. Take it there and... There we go. Como estas? I don't know. I've been all right, man. I've been all right. It. I don't know. This. I kind of. I kind of push myself too hard sometimes. I think we all do that a little bit. But I push myself too hard, and then I don't like take a break. And it caught up with me this week. And so, like on Monday, I had a little bit of a mental break. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was like, I was super unsure with like what I would, what I've been doing with my life. And, and honestly, my job has kind of gotten to me. I'm, it's, it's to the point now where it's like, I don't, I don't enjoy my, my work anymore. I enjoy this stuff, but this is like only a part of what I do. And it's a very small part of what I do. So that's kind of a bummer. There we go. You know what? That's going to be good. That's 
Convincing, I guess. Convincing. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a real grass pan, right? So if we were to rotate this around its y-axis, would that look like the hand? Let's hide this. Um, would that look like the hand is actually around it? Yeah, actually it does. That's the pretty good grip there, I think. All right, cool. Let's undo that rotation there. Put that back. All right, and then we will... You know what? I'm actually I'm going to delete this bone. Let's go into edit mode on that bone. I don't need this bone, so we're going to go ahead and delete it. Uh, uh oh. Is am I mirroring across the x-axis right now? Yeah, I think so. Okay, whatever. I'll keep the keep the thing. But yeah, so I, life's been good other than that, I guess. Thankfully, my wife was pretty good at, at, like, talking me off the ledge, hypothetically speaking, of course. All right, let's pull this around the, uh, the Z a little bit. There we go. Rotate that on the Y. That's good. What have you, have you been playing Breath of the Wild, or what have you been playing these days? Maybe that's a little too far. I don't like how that creased up there. There we go. Alright, so this is going to start the... Uh, the walking animation. I'm just going to kind of set them here. S because what I want is I want my character... Yeah. I want my character basically to be holding onto this thing the entire time they're doing their walking animation. So, select everything now, I guess. And uh, we'll go ahead and I guess we'll start the... Let's go to frame zero. Uh, I guess, yeah, one here. And we'll just insert a keyframe. Rotation, location, and scale for everything. And there we go. All right. Now, this should allow me to uh, to kind of start what I'm doing here. And let's actually select all of these bones for a quick second. And I just want to I just want to hide them. I don't want to see or have anything to do with the... Uh, you know what? Un let's undo that. We have to, we'll have to leave them in place. Because the inevitable first thing he's going to do when he starts walking is kind of lean forward. So let's do, say, five frames forward. We're just going to give him a lean forward. And I will put in a keyframe for the location, rotation, and I guess it would just be the rotation there for that bone. So it should, yeah, he's just going to lean forward. And when he leans forward at this first frame, I think we're going to start him out with a right foot. Smashing a little bit of DST and some Fortnite. You're not a fan, it's just fun to play. Dude, that's good. you got to have those games that you really enjoy playing. I know that... Um, like, I don't enjoy Fortnite, but I don't enjoy Fortnite because Fortnite is constantly changing. And that's really my one complaint with it. You know, we're going to make him, we're going to make him go left foot first. And we're going to make him kind of move forward like that. So, for these two... I guess for, for everything, yeah. Insert the keyframe for location and rotation. Yeah. Cool. So he's going to lean forward. He's going to start walking in five frames. That's what we're going to do. 
Uh, gonna be honest, don't know what DST is. All I can think of is daylight savings time. <laughs> what is DST? All right, so he leans forward, and then he is going to uh, kind of move that forward in another... Don't starve together. Oh, is that... That's like a kind of a top-down... It's just like a top-down survival game, right? And it just gets harder and harder to find food over time? Okay. So grab these two bones there, I guess. Insert keyframe with, I guess, location, rotation. And then, you know what? So, he starts walking. He's going to come out there. And... I, have to, I guess what? That happened over 10 frames? So, I guess at frame 20, then... then this would come back to this would come back to center roughly yeah okay cool so insert the keyframe there location rotation and then Another twen 10 keyframes, roughly. And it should be... All right, you know what? Let's go, let's go back to the layout mode. We're gonna delete this object here. Don't need it, back to animation. And posing, here we go. Cool. So at 30 frames, I want him to be kind of as far back as his single walking animation is going to go. Dang it, did I... Oof. Whoops. All right. Uh, so I guess at 30, I guess I have to place it, and then we're just going to mark this as the end point here. There we go. And we'll insert the keyframe for location rotation. Okay, cool. So that means... Basically, we've got a swinging leg. And then in another 10 frames, we'll bring it back down to uh, center. So I guess that would be what Alt R, Alt G. Yeah, okay, cool. And then just insert keyframe for location rotation. Sweet. So now we have a full walking. He starts going forward. His legs are moving. Okay, cool. So it started at 5 and then 10, 10. Cool. So that's our increment there. Let's look at this from the other side.
and we're gonna actually do this one kind of in reverse. So as he starts walking, we're going to push this back a little. Adios, Genwa. Thanks for hanging out. It's good to see you again, mate. So we'll push that back just a little bit. Cool. Grab these. And insert a rotation keyframe for them. And then at frame 20, when this guy's coming back, uh, actually, this one should be moving forward. So... Actually, these need to be back here at that frame. Can I delete just these keyframes there? Yeah, I probably can. That looks about right. So we're going to actually move this back a little further, right about there. Cool. Cool. And put in keyframes for rotation. Then at the 20 keyframe here, his foot should be kind of coming forward. They should kind of be going forward. And insert for rotation. Then at 30, okay, so at 30, it should complete itself. Hey, Secure, how are you doing? Just having a kind of a chill music stream, doing some decent, well, some questionable animation. All I need to do is get a decent walk cycle done. And then at frame 40, the leg should basically be back to center. So if we look at that, gonna kind of start out, so he'll start out. Uh oh. Nope, that should, we should have no keyframes there. Oh no, did I, del I deleted all the freaking nay. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Give me back my keyframes. There we go, please. So now he is kind of walking. It looks bad, but we've got something started. We've got something started. And that's what really matters. All right, so at five keyframes, it's kind of started going forward there. So let's actually... Cool. I guess we'll we'll put in these keyframes here at five for rotation, and then at zero, we're going to Alt R and insert the keyframes there. This is not good. What am I teaching my students? Um, I'm Well, it depends. Right now, we're kind of doing, uh, or we're working on a tower defense game. And so we are doing uh, character creation when we get back from break, starting on Monday. They'll be doing character creation, character rigging, and 
they will be then programming the character movement around in the scene. The animation doesn't have to get great. This is just my, after all, this is my first animation as well. Um, what happens when we just, when we grab everything? And, uh, yeah, what happens if we grab everything and just duplicate? Undo. I mean, that could just be a basic walk animation and then just have it repeat. Let's see what happens when it repeats. Uh, so I guess we can stop at 40 there. And then there should be a continuous playthrough. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I don't like that, that jump there. But the feet are kind of doing what I want, so. Okay, it's not perfect. It's far from perfect, but we have at least started our animation. A walking motion cap file on the net. I don't know if I could... Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I would even import that. That's a good idea. But I, th I looked it up and I'm not sure how I would even import that. So I'll keep that in mind. Secure. I will definitely keep that in mind. But you know what? We're going to actually, we're going to, we're going to start this over. We're going to actually delete all of these keyframes. We're going to delete them all. Okay, so we're going to operate on the principle of uh, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3. Or no, 1, 5, 3, 2, 4 uh, for animation. So we're going to try that. So this will be start frame of 1. And I will go ahead and just add in my keyframes. So rotation, that's fine. And then... I guess we'll do everything by fours. So actually we'll end this at 80 frames and I can speed this up in unity. So I'm not super worried about it. So then we'll take it to 20 frames and we'll say that will be five. That'll be the first end of the first step. So we'll start him out with his right foot. Okay, hold on. All right, um, so I guess everything at 20 would need to be almost perfect back to where it need back to where it was originally. Huh, man, you know what? I thought this would be a lot easier. All right, cool. So we'll grab these, insert keyframes for rotation, and then we know that it's just gonna come up at 20 keyframes. 
All right, and again at 20 for the other side, we're going to kind of push this back a little bit and use the foot as more of a springboard. And so we'll grab these and insert rotation keyframes as well. So when he takes his first step, he's going to be pushing off with his back foot and stepping forward with his front foot. All right, cool. So then at 40, we basically need to kind of grab these and alt R back to back to zero, insert the keyframe for that. And then grab these and kind of do the same thing. Yeah. So he's gonna step out and then it's gonna come back. Now I'll have to tweak this a little bit, but that's essentially what we have. And then at frame 60, we're gonna take it back to roughly where it is. I wonder if I can see that at frame 20 on the other side so I know just kind of exactly where we're at. Okay, yeah, that should be, that should be fine. Something like that. All right, cool. Insert that keyframe. And then we'll do it out just like that a little bit. All right, cool, we'll insert the keyframe here for rotations and then go back down to 80 with all of these selected and bring it back. Insert the keyframe for rotation there. So when we play, what we should see is now that's, that's basically walking. You know, he's taking a step, he's coming back to center. Um, there's not really any, I mean, there is a pause, but it's not, too bad um, but now we just have to fix the fact that it doesn't really look like he's walking there's not really any movements there so that's the big ones uh, and so what we can do now is kind of take this little bit a uh, little bit by bit Colonel hey there how you doing all right so at the five marker what I want to do is I'm going to rotate this back a little bit so that it looks like the knee is leading forward I'm going to pick this up just a tad and even lift that up a little bit so we'll take these and we'll add in keyframes for rotation here and that will actually help it look more like a real animation there we go that's that five all right um, so now we can kind of take this back a little bit more and we'll even, I guess we could probably rotate that back, push that up a little bit. And there we go. We'll grab these and insert that. And now that looks more like he's pushing off and stepping out and we've got the first 10. Just putting your scene together after spending a few weeks creating assets. That's good. Colonel, what kind of scene are you working on? Remind me. It's been a little while. All right, cool. So now we have to come back. Oh, is this your first time being here? I feel like I've seen your username before, but... Maybe not in my stream. 
You're working on a Washington, D.C. street block scene in Unreal Engine 4. That sounds fantastic. What kind of assets... Um, what's your big asset for your scene? What's your, like, your like prominent... Is it like the state building? Is it the White House? Washington Monument? What's your big asset? Okay, so that's a decent start. All right. Um, so from here to here. We'll go here. And at this five point, it's going to be... going to be down a little bit, maybe a little bit further out. Just a street over from the White House. It's just a street that caught your eyes. Well, that's cool. All right, so we'll we'll take that and um honestly, I feel like Hold on. Let's do this. Let's undo that. Look at the way it comes down. I feel like halfway between the heel, like the heel strike should definitely happen here. So I need to make that heel strike actually happen. And that's going to be kind of close enough to make the heel strike happen there. So we'll inset that keyframe there. And then heel strike, and then he kind of shifts his weight and moves on. Now, because this is coming from the back, rather than just having him swing his leg forward, because that's not really how things happen, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of bend the knee a little bit more. To bring that foot forward. Because what I want to happen is at the halfway point. Well, I guess no, that's just coming back to center. So that looks like it's really coming back and then back to center. So push off the back foot. And then yeah, it should be it should be a little higher up. And actually I think that might be Alright, cool. Inset the keyframe there for rotation. All right, and then this is where this needs to rotate a little bit. Let the knee lead. Lift up. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, let's check that out. Oh yeah, I mean, that's kind of okay. And then he comes back, and we'll just have to do the back one. Your main goal is to go for a high level of detail as close as you get to realistic textures, and then eventually break the scene into a post-apocalyptic Last of Us feel. That could be really cool. Ah, okay, I see. I will check that out. I will check that out later. Let me let me go ahead and save that to my to my videos. Uh thank you for that. Thank you for that, Secure. Appreciate it. If you're interested in learning how to uh you know import motion textures or motion captures, that's gonna be a way to do that. Uh I will probably have to let's un undo that. Where am I at? Where am I at in my scene? 
So that's going to give a kind of a walking feel there. And 40 frames takes me back to center. That's a single step. I almost I wish I could just like copy and and uh mirror it. Which I don't know if that's a thing you can do cuz this is my first real animation. <laughs> now let's go ahead and save this. All right, at 10 frames, he was kind of coming out. At 20, he was as high as he needed to go. 30, he was kind of coming back. And 40, he was back to center. At 50, the back leg is pushing off. That's good. 60 is as high as it needs to go. Okay, yeah, at 70, I think the foot still needs, a, the foot needs a little bit of work here. There we go. And I think that's kind of following a little bit more natural. Walk pattern, a little bit, just a little bit. Motion cap is a time saver. That's probably true. That's probably true. That's why a lot of people use it. But I feel like so some of the way the way that I teach, right? The way that I teach, I animate it first. Like you ha I teach them the long way, the hard way of doing it first, and then we talk about the easy way of doing it. So like, I feel like as a teacher, I can't just, just jump straight to using motion captures. I need to at least have one video for them where they can see me struggling uh, and doing whatever I'm going to make them do in class. So today, for sure, we are using... this. Alright, let's see what this looks like. I guess we can bring in the sun. You know what? It's not perfect. It's not super smooth. Um, it does have a decent step. Once it's there, it's just the maybe it's the maybe it's the keyframes at forty. Maybe it's the keyframes at forty that throw it off. So let's go ahead and grab everything at forty. Yeah, and only the ones at 40. And uh, let's just delete those keyframes there. So what happens if we delete those? And uh, then give it a shot. It does seem a little smoother. Yeah, it's definitely a lot smoother now, but it's not perfect. That's okay. As far as the legs are concerned, that's going to work. Um... I'm good with that. We can actually go ahead and hide those bones now because I'm done. I'm done working with them. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and hide these as well because I'm done working with them. So now let's focus on the upper part of the body. Uh, and for right now, I'm just going to hide the facial bones as well because all I really want to do is as he walks, have him kind of sway from side to side. Right, so here we go. If we rotate this this way. Yeah, that's kind of all I want him to do while he's walking. Uh, okay, so we have this one. And then we have... Our real step is at 20, where he should have some type of lean, just a slight lean to his left. And we'll insert a keyframe for rotation there. 
and then back to center is fine. So just, I guess, Alt R for that. Insert a keyframe there for his rotation. A slight lean to the right. And then back to center will be fine. So we play that. And as he walks, he's kind of leaning back and forth. And maybe that's too much lean. But yeah, definitely too much lean going to the uh, going to the right there. So I guess let's take it to 60. And uh, I guess we can delete those keyframes there. What the heck? That's not what I wanted to do. Just want to delete the ones at 60. There we go. Yeah. It's like a slight rotation there. There we go. Like, what's the what's the top rotation when we get here? It's like negative twenty six. Cool. So point zero two six on the Z. R. What the heck's going on here? R Z point zero two six. Not what I wanted. Okay, fine. We'll just slightly lean him to the left there. All right, that's uh, that's a bit. It's a bit annoying, but uh, he moves. He moves the way that he should move. And now we just got to get his arms into it. All right. So he takes his first step with his right foot, which means that actually his right arm should be going out there. So, at 20, gonna rotate him up and rotate the hand on the Y to, and I guess, what is that, the Z? Just a little bit to try to keep his, uh, oh, that's pretty much in place. There we go. So we'll grab these two and uh, insert keyframes for rotation there. So he's taking his first step. He's gonna throw his hands out. And then his right arm will need to go up. Wow, there's doing this. Doing this is giving me a huge, like, respect. <laughs> a huge amount of respect for real animators. Okay, I guess we can go back down to uh, Alt R. And insert the rotation keyframe there. Yeah, that's fine. Did I not?
Man, this is difficult. This is just... That arm's going up. I need the other arm to go back a little bit. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to rotate it back a little bit. And then we'll rotate this up just a tad. And uh, back a little bit to keep the fingers in place there. And cool. So then these guys will get keyframes there for rotation. So. Goodness, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done to these? Okay, let's. Let's do this. With the exception of this one, uh, I want I want to delete their keyframes. Yeah. So he's gonna walk, and he's gonna tilt back and forth, and that's fine. And he's shifting back and forth. And uh, can I just hide this bone? Okay. That's not really going to help anything. Let's undo that. Bring that bone back. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What are we going to do? So he's walking back and forth. This is good. He's leaning back and forth. We just need to animate the arms. So starting here, we're just going to rotate them at the shoulder, I think. So we'll just insert a keyframe there. And then for this, he needs to be slightly back. Cool. So we'll, yep, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll insert the keyframe for rotation for that. And. Rotate them up like that. Yep, cool. Insert that keyframe for rotation. Fantastic. And then we are going to... Insert there for that rotation. Great. Now let's look at the hand here. And the only thing I think I can do, really, there we go. We can kind of do that. All right. And then we can place this hand a little bit better because we already know this hand is starting here. Oh shoot, dang it, I didn't do the, I didn't create a default keyframe for everything. Let's put those back, I guess. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, cool. Everybody's got their first one. Now we can go here and do them one by one. So, now that that's done, um, what we can do, we'll rotate this backwards. Great. You know what? No. Hold on. Let's get the shoulder, let's get the shoulder back where we want it first. 
And then we'll get this shoulder up where we want it first. Cool. All right, so these are done. That's where we're gonna put them. And then I need to rotate the forearm around the Y and twist it to actually match the direction the forearm kind of should be going here. Something like that will probably do. Rotate this as well. And there we go, something like that. There we go, and then we can kind of rotate that a little bit around the hand there and rotate that a little bit around the hand just to give ourselves the piece we need. And then I'll grab these and we will insert the keyframe for rotation here. So now, as he steps forward, then we can go back. All right, cool. So we'll grab all three of these and then just Alt-R. Nope, that's not what I wanted, dang it. Okay, so then at 40, we kind of need them to go back to where they were, which I wonder if I can just copy. These from frame zero and control C. Actually, let's just let's duplicate here and move them to frame 40. That's okay, let's undo that. That's not what I wanted to happen. Yeah, that's what I need right there. So what if I, can I just duplicate these keyframes then? Shift D to duplicate those keyframes and drop it at frame 40. Should give us one step forward. And then one step back and it doesn't. That's rather annoying. Undo that. Ah, I can copy the pose and then move it to frame 40 and paste pose. Oh, that's so easy. Okay, that's a cool thing. That's so cool. I didn't know I could do that. All right, uh, and then now, I guess just insert the keyframe for rotation and it should. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So now we can go to 20. Actually, let's just do this here. Can I? Let's copy the pose and then take it to 60 and paste the pose flipped. Which is gonna do that, which is which is frankly not what we want. That's not what we want. It was close. It was close, but that's not what we want. That's cool, cool. I didn't realize I could copy and paste poses. Um, but there we go. So we have the beginning and we have the end of our pose. And then towards the back, what we need, he's now going forward. So here, we need this to go forward. And then we need this to go back a little bit. All right, so we'll grab these and insert their keyframe for rotation. And then we'll replace the hammer. So that means that this uh, is good. The hand can rotate around that way. The forearm can bend a little bit like that. So 
just a little bit out. That's what we're looking for right there. And that's that's pretty good. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So then we'll grab these and insert keyframe for rotation. And we can see that as he walks, the weapon goes with him and his hands, it kind of stays inside his hands. And then I just need to return him to, to basic. Perfect. Copy that pose, go to frame 80, paste that pose, grab these because they're the only ones that currently matter, and insert keyframes for rotation. And now when we play our animation, he can walk, and he walks back and forth. This is awesome. All right, so now he's walking back and forth. It's kind of a... Uh, paused animation, but if we were to loop the animation without, let's see if we can do that playback. I wonder if there's a way to play back the, uh, the thing without a pause. Okay, there might not be. There might not be, but that's okay. That's okay. All that matters is that we've got this thing animated. He now walks, and we have a little bit of a walking animation here. Which is good. So that's, that's really all I need now. And, uh... Yeah, so let's go ahead and we'll save, obviously. File save, go to layout. This is what it looks like. This is what it's gonna look like rendered. And I need to do another texture on it, but what I wanna do is I wanna actually take this and get this into Unity. So we're definitely gonna save here. I did not expect it to go that quickly. Not gonna lie. Let's see if I remember everything that I need to for Unity. Okay. Oh, it's taking forever to get Unity up. That's I did not expect to get into Unity today. Okay, come on, Unity. That's what you get. You should never once you start a project, you should never download a new version um, of Unity. Just finish it out with the version you currently are running. Otherwise, everything throws itself off. Okay, so here we are. We have a basic script here. Um, let's jump into Unity. Let's see if it'll actually work. So we're going to do... Alright, cool. And let's actually bring up Unity because it doesn't want to remember. So here we are. Unity. Awesome. Awesome sauce. All right, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna just bring in that file. So I'm gonna go back to Blender real quick once it's saved and we will simply grab the entire piece here. Oh, let me make sure that my meta rig 
Let's go into pose mode and uh, unhide everything. There we go. So now we'll save. And uh, then go back to object mode and grab the entire rig again. And just export everything. So we'll go to export, FBX file. Uh, we'll call this orc. Walking orc. And it's going to take its sweet little time to export. And it's saying it's not responding. This is wonderful. Maybe this should be good. Hopefully, hopefully this works. Alright, cool. Everything is good to go there. And let's get into Unity. And import that package. So, we're going to import a new asset here. And it's going to pull up the where is everything box, you know, that lets you choose. And so we just need to choose it, which you can't actually see it on the screen right now, which is a little funny. But let's just switch to, I guess we can switch to the desktop view. That's fine. Um, let's see. Tower Defense Game. Assets. Walking Orc. Import. All right, and it'll take its sweet little time to uh, to import our walking orc FBX file, but we now have it in place. We do have an animation here. Um, I think eighty frames is only like three seconds. Yeah, something like three seconds, so. Ah, oh, shoot, it didn't, it didn't go with only what was selected. Ha, crap. Back in the blender. All right, file, export, FBX file. Only the selected objects will re-export over the walking orc. That's much faster now. And now we can go back into Unity and delete this and then re-import it. What happened to that? I wonder what happened to that. Oh, not that one. Where's this one? Okay, cool. So now we do have a full thing. We'll just call this walking. And I can kind of, I guess I can delete these, right? Yeah, it doesn't, these aren't necessary. So we'll remove that one and we'll remove that one. And can I speed this up? Yeah, I can speed it up. Okay, cool. Let's see how we actually can speed up the frame rate itself. Oh, you can import constraints. I wonder if that's good. All right, cool. So that looks like it's ready. Let's get this thing set up, though, because materials aren't where they need to be. Oh, yeah, definitely apply that. And that gives it just one thing. All right, cool. So we're going to extract the material from the prefab. We'll drop it back where it needs to go. So now we have that. Um, I'm going to then import the asset for the um shoot where did i save this thing all right let me check in unity where it saved or in blender where it saved so we're going to check the textures uh i just want to see where this is saved real quick oh okay yeah that should be saved where i thought it was saved okay that's weird
Uh, and then it should be orc base color, and then there should be an orc normal. What did I call that thing? Okay, orc mac normal. There we go. Want both of these, import both of these files. There we go. And now we can set up our material with an albedo map. And the normal map will mark it as opaque. And then we can... Actually, let's bring this object out into the world here. And make sure it has that material attached to it. Now that is a massive, massive orc there. Um, where's my hierarchy? It's over here. But that should give me what I need now. And I can see the detail on his face and on his arms there. It is as it should be, even though it's not perfect. All right, and let's go to the model and we're gonna scale this factor down to like 0.5. Even that's a little big, let's do 0.3. Cool. So this thing's in there now. And uh, I feel like it's not, for some reason, that's in the right orientation, but it shouldn't be. Whatever. All right, cool. Let's rotate this sucker around 90 degrees. Oh, hold on. Rotate him 90, uh, 180 degrees here. And then what what uh, objects are on this? This has the movement script on him. So I guess we can just take the walking orc and apply a movement script to him as well. We can go ahead and delete this object and the mob controller. And let's play it out and let's see what happens when we play. Ah, that's right, I have not set up the controller for animation yet. Um, okay. So I guess, what does that mean? I have to do... Nope, that's not it. All right, window, animation, animator? Yeah, that's about right. Okay, gonna be honest, I don't know what I'm doing in here. Um, but that's okay. What's important is the fact that we got our orc to rig and move. Let's go back to the scene. If we press play down here on this animation, which you can't see because my head is in the way. But if you press play on this animation, we can see that the orc is actually animating in here. And we can see how it looks. And he does take a little bit of a pause each step, but uh, it's, it's working. That's what we wanted to do tonight. It's working. Now all I gotta do is get it up and running and have him move around in the scene freely. Um, but that, you know what? I think that's actually a pretty decent, pretty decent size. It's not scaled right because the orc is pretty big in comparison to the towers. He's about the same height of the towers if we're being honest. And that's probably not what we want in the long run, but it's fine for now. So, all right, guys. Actually, I am going to get on out of here. I've got some homework to do, clearly, for animation. Uh, and I need to finish up texturing that hammer. So, this has been good. But now we can see that it is actually up and running. And if we were to check the animation panel itself, we can see that we have a walking clip in here. And actually, depending on how you do your clips for walking uh, or in Blender you'll actually be able to uh, cr bring a bunch of different clips in there and start them and end them where you want them to go and also, you know, add in some loop time and kind of change the speed of that animation itself. So I'll get into that in a future video on my channel. Um, but thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. This is awesome. I'm so glad we're getting close to having the tower defense game done. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Adios, everybody. Have a good night.